What's up guys, it's Kanan, and welcome back to another video of Internet Mysteries. Now before I get going, I want to talk about the future of the series. So when I first started the series, I wanted it to cover just internet, internet mysteries because I've always found internet mysteries creepy because there is such a feeling of unknown, uncertainty with them because they the internet is so vast and you never know who else out there is sitting behind a computer and who comes up to this stuff or it, or something happens and it's left with absolutely no closure on it but um and getting ready for this episode because i wanted to do a new one because i haven't done a new one since uh october i was struggling to find stories that were riveting enough um ones that were actually long enough to really make a full video about and so i've decided that this one will be the final one under this format where it'll be strictly internet mysteries from now on this series will cover any kind of mystery really um now what makes that any different than mysterious darkness well this uh series will cover short stuff stuff that i can cover in 20 minutes or less if i don't ramble um where mysterious darkness will cover longer cases longer mysteries ones that need over 30 minutes to an hour to cover so yeah so this technically is the last episode of internet mysteries but it'll still carry on it'll just cover a, like a lot more uh topics so once i come up with a name i'll do a new episode so moving on today's or tonight's depending on when you are watching this hope you guys are doing well by the way um, we are talking about a Facebook account of a young lady named Karen Catherine Wattlegrave. Now, I got all this information from the ghost in my machine. It's a great little uh, website for a bunch of stories, both strange and unusual. So, yeah, I, uh, I do remember hearing about this on other channels like top fives and stuff like that because they've covered it um i don't think nexpo has ever covered it i'm not sure but uh, i do know that i have seen other channels cover it. and this is like you know back around when this happened around 2010 you know when i would just randomly listen listen to creepy youtube videos and um, i had actually forgotten all about this until i stumbled upon it uh online i was like you know what that that'll be a good topic to cover because it's been so long there may be some people who don't remember anything or maybe there's some who has never heard about it so yeah all right so in april of 2010 a woman named karen Catherine wattlegrave joined facebook now of course that's not a big deal but um what set karen apart was the sheer absurdity of her posts posts which apparently still to this day have defied explanation and some are wondering if she was even a real person in other words people think maybe it was a bot or something like that so let's look into the profile um the facebook profile that she had was pretty impressive like she she was a very accomplished individual um she was apparently a londoner by birth born in 1969 the year uh the beatles released abbey road little random thing there although she also seemed to have traveled quite extensively and apparently she had earned a phd in the history of international relations from the university of toronto in canada or at least she was working on one at the time she was posting um apparently a wordpress site that kept copies of her profile and post the phd was in progress with the expected year of award listed as 2012 which is absurd because you know we're we're just left over of when the world ended in 2012 they just don't want you to know that um she spoke a huge number of languages including english french german 
Russian, Estonian, Levat, Lat, Latvian, sorry, Latin, and Gaelic, G-A-L-L-I-C. And the one who wrote this says that we'll get to that later, because there is something interesting about that. <clears throat> So apparently a lot of people have really tried to research this profile because they were able to dig up some stuff about her. Um, although it notes here that uh, this has this was not verified by the person that wrote this. So uh, she seems to have married a fellow by the name of Peter Lep Lepic in 1992 and divorced about a decade later. Apparently Lepic is a real person, so yeah, don't bother him. Um, and according to a, uh, one of his pages, he was the CEO of a printing business called Technograph since 1988. Okay. Meanwhile, Karen's work history on her Facebook profile profile notes that she was once matrimonial investor and co-owner of Technograph. Then in 2003, she married Gordon Finley and once again listed on Facebook it said she was the matrimonial investor and co-owner for a company called Finley Travel LTD which was seemingly sold to Helen Thompson. Now, it doesn't really go into detail who Helen Thompson is, I don't think, um, unless I missed it in my readings. But, um, yeah, so, all right, it's like, okay, she she's business-minded. You know, she, she married men that owned businesses and, you know, stuff like that. But it notes, here's the thing about Facebook profiles. You can fill them with whatever you like. And Karen's raised a number of red flags. Now, of course, I know we've all seen a lot of Facebook profiles that raised red flags for multiple reasons. But yes, that's true. In Facebook, you can put whatever you want. I mean, I've seen people put some really interesting and disturbing stuff in their Facebook profiles just for a laugh. So, yeah, very interesting so far. Now, apparently there were holes in Karen's profile. Details that don't quite make sense. For example... Consider her PhD, which was apparently in progress. The University of Toronto's political science department does offer international relations as a field of study in its PhD program, but it does not offer a PhD in the history of international relations. The university's history department, meanwhile, also offers international relations as a field of study. Again, though, it's not specifically phrased as a doctorate in history of international relations. So and it pretty much goes on that says that you would literally just have a degree in international relations. That's it. And what's, what's funny to note here is that the fact that several departments at the university offer PhD programs in international relations, the way Karen described her studies on her Facebook profile was odd to say the least apparently for apparently particularly for someone so highly educated because yeah she knows all these languages and all that so speaking of the languages her inclusion of gaelic as a language gaelic isn't a language it's an adjective usually used to describe one of two things either in france france uh, you know for their customs and or an ancient region of Europe, Gaul, or the people who live there, the Gauls. And she, the author wonders if she meant Gaelic, G-A-E-L-I-C. I don't know if there's a different way to pronounce them, but for what it's worth, she did use most of the language she listed in her profile in her actual posts. So, you know, so whoever was in charge of this either really knew those languages or they just found them, translated them to make sure that it was what they wanted to say, and boom, or maybe you had multiple people running this profile. It's kind of hard to say, but it, it, it gets a little will, weirder because um, the way she would speak is not the way she would phrase her educational Credentials. The word she used to discuss the language in which she was uh, proficient was unusual. And then we get to the photos that 
she posted, which were off. Uh, apparently many of them looked like they had been scanned in and it was apparent that the original images had been damaged by water or other forces. Other images, however, appeared to have been photoshopped to look as if they were damaged, a quality identified by the fact that the damage pattern is identical in each one, meaning all of them had the exact same pattern, which is a, um, it is a sign of photoshopping, suggesting that the same template had been applied to all of the images. So the more you know there, but of all this, but of all this, it's small in comparison to the lengthy rambling text of posts that Karen eventually began writing on her own timeline. Now, I do remember hearing about this in length, and it, it really is like it could either really be seen like the posts of just a very hardcore conspiracy theorist to the ravings of someone who has had a mental break um, to someone who maybe just had one too many. Who knows? But it, it gets really, really weird going forward. Because she began to talk about the intelligence community, including the FBI, the CIA, the MI6, conspiracies, and mind control. She wrote about the elite, specifically about having knowledge of illegal activities in which they were engaging in. That's not good to claim that you know, and about her connections with a number of international criminal networks. Once again, not something you make public. She spoke of people she said had either tried or planned to kill her. She had a lot to say about Kate Middleton and Prince William around the time of their wedding. These posts were intensely bizarre, both in form and content. In addition to being rife with conspiracy theories, the language, the language used frequently did not seem to make any sort of of grammatical sense. So here we go. You've got, so for one, if you are suspicious of these intelligence networks, it's not a good job to just go talking about them publicly. Also, if you think uh, people are trying or planning to kill you, that's also something you don't uh, talk about publicly. Um, you go to the police. <laughs> yeah. um, but here's the thing. Here you've got someone who's supposed to be highly intelligent, very fluent in many languages, and yet in these posts, they're not making grammatical sense. So we can already guess that either, it's either substance abuse going on, whether it be alcohol or drugs, um, or someone who's having a, n a nervous breakdown pretty much, or some kind of mental break, um, or it could be just someone trolling. It, it's a lot of things that could be happening here, which is not out of the ordinary. People make fake uh, accounts all the time just to spout nonsense. So it's uh, it could be a number of things already. But perhaps the oddest of all was the fact that many of these posts had hundreds of responses. This is where it gets creepy. All written by Karen many of which were posted nearly simultaneously. I remember these. I remember like people talking about these. She would reply to herself and have a one-sided conversation with herself. And the responses would come like boom, 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 boom. Like it's almost physically impossible for you to type, hit send, and then type a whole new paragraph send and it'd be that quick. Um, and it even says here, a huge number of these comments bear timestamps that occurred either at the exact same moment as several previous comments or within a, just a few minutes of each other. One day, she spent 12 hours responding to her own posts in this fashion. Okay, so within a few minutes, that's, that's humanly possible. But the exact same moment, like, it's like she could respond to herself at the same time with more than one almost. So that screams a bot. That screams a, like, you know, it's an AI ran account in a way, but some things still don't match up with that. Like, mm, it, it, it's odd. It, it's very, very odd. Um, it's chilling. Very. It, it, it's, and it's, mm. 
several things are popping through my head like what this could be and here's the thing facebook pages even uh, do not have scheduling capabilities as this says um, you can't write a whole bunch of posts and then queue them to go up live. It's not like a YouTube video where you can queue it to go up the specific time you want to go up. Um, but the author says there isn't an easy explanation for the near simultaneous timing of the post. Karen could easily have drafted them somewhere else, like in, like an email draft or um, a word program, and then simply pasted them into the comment field and hit enter over and over and over again at a rapid pace. Uh, so the thing is I don't know if you would still be able to make more than one like one that had different text in it go up right when another one does that you would be have you would have to be lightning quick so I don't know I don't know about that one it is but really, even if that was true, it doesn't explain, it doesn't ignore the fact that the posts were very weird. And of course, many have come up with different theories. And I'm not going to go over all of these. I'm just going to go over the first two. I'll list the others that are um, theorized. But the first one is she was suffering from schizophrenia, which definitely could be, an, you know, a definite reason. You know, I have my bachelor's degree in psychology with a concentration in behavioral health. And she it, it definitely could have been because, you know, schizophrenia deals with a lot of things between hearing voices, delusions, disorganized thinking and just, whoops, sorry about that. I got a update for my computer. Um, but the thing is, it's very hard. I can't sit here and say that is death. Definitely what it is because I don't have my license to say that. You know, I can't, I can't diagnose someone, but I will say in what I know, she's definitely showing some if this is a person, you, it's definitely someone that has some schizophrenic capabilities. Because um, it also depends on how bad you have it. There are some schizophrenic people who can function normally. They do have to be on medication, but they can function then you have more extreme cases that need a little bit more attention than that um because if not untreated schizophrenia can be a very very dangerous mental illness um so that could very well be the next one is she's a computer program and many believe it was markov chains which definitely could be like because you know, of all the things Facebook has been accused of, I definitely would not be surprised if there were some throwaway accounts that they used, but would they actually take the time to just post random stuff on a seemingly normal person's Facebook? I it just, I don't know. Um... Like a lot of people say, it looks like it was just generate the the text on a lot of them was just generated by a program just to hit. But that that could explain how they could go up simultaneously. It's just a program cranking out stuff, and it's just having a conversation with itself. But is that like I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Possibility. And then of course the other explanations is it's a social experiment. Um, some claim it's a it's a Facebook page for a uh, for a way for spies to communicate. Um, even some claiming that she's a victim of uh, MK Ultra. So that's yeah. So what? It's hard to say now because the the Facebook profile is terminated. It's gone. It's no longer up. Um. Hmm. 
I'm definitely in the camp of it was either she was either either a real person and she had some kind of mental break or paranoia or it was like just some kind of AI program or something like that. Um, a program that could have conversations with itself or it could or maybe it was doing that and maybe it malfunctioned who knows but it, very odd um so like i mean there's no way to really prove that she was a real person um unless whoever was behind the page comes out and says something but yeah um th that's my takeaway from it it was either a computer program or she was she's a real person and she had some kind of mental breakdown um and if that's if that's the truth it's sad i hope she got the help that she uh, needed because this we really do need to take mental health very very seriously it's sad that we still do not treat it with the utmost care that we should you know i'm i don't have to be in the psychology field to see that like we really really need to step up in supporting people with mental health issues um so yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of hope it was just a program. I hope she didn't have some kind of break and is just in a in such a bad shape that she never got on social media again. But uh, yeah, guys, this uh, that was interesting. Um, I'll leave the link for the article in the description so you can read it word for word if you want to. It's a very interesting uh, website. I've used it before and uh, it's got some great stuff on there. So yeah, guys, this will be technically the last episode of internet mysteries as it's going to go into a new format i'm going to branch out into different other kinds of mysteries like i said short form 20 minutes or less hopefully and um the longer stuff will be on mysterious darkness so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell click that like button leave me a comment tell me what you'd like me to cover in the new series or like you know the more broadened series that this is becoming hope you guys enjoyed it as always me and jess love you all very very much take care of yourselves stay safe out there and i will see you in the next one see ya